All right, guys, one last guess. What color chef coat you think I'm wearing tonight? Let's get the color chef coat you think. And if you're a sub, let me see a Cousin Drew emote next to that guess. And we're about to get started, ladies and gentlemen. It's gray. You all lose. Good evening. What's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday, and welcome back to Cousin Drew's Cooking Show, episode 46. Tonight, we're doing some chicken cordon bleu by your boy. What's going on, everybody? How you doing tonight? We're having a little bit of fun before the stream even starts. If I say them all, I have to be right. <laughs> oh, shit. Jackie said gray. All right, all right, all right, all right. That was your like your seventh guess, but I guess I guess it'll be cool. What's going on, everybody? Chef Dog, how's it going, brother? You done with your vacation or what? Jackie, what's going on, girl? How's how's your summer going? I see you partying on Snapchat, crazy girl. All right, so look, guys, we got some chicken cordon bleu coming your way tonight. Traditionally, chicken cordon bleu is gonna be your 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 boneless, skinless chicken breast, right? Sliced open, stuffed up with uh, cheese, typically a white cheese. Um, I'd say Gruyere would be the best best French, you know, type of Swiss, delicious, melty, expensive cheese to put in there, right? Uh, with a slice of ham, right? Tonight we're doing smoked ham, but we're gonna be using Havarti cheese, because I'm a huge Havarti lover, and the way Havarti melts down, oh my goodness, gonna pair up deliciously. And I'm also gonna be throwing some baby spinach in there as well. We're gonna make a little, we're gonna add, you know, fortify it with something a little bit delicious and healthy. It's gonna add delicious flavor, and um, it's gonna be gr add a great consistency to the dish. So I'm super excited. We're gonna be serving that up with a roasted red pepper coolie. So we're gonna roast off our red peppers. We're gonna throw them in the blender with some ingredients. We're gonna get that delicious, served up, strained out. Um, and you know get that on the plate with the chicken and we're gonna be serving it We're going a little healthy tonight guys. Uh, it is summertime for you know for God's sake So we're gonna be doing a um, goat cheese pear kale salad with a little honey mustard that we're gonna whip up with you know Honey and mustard so it's gonna be a good night guys. And I'm super excited We're going a little bit on the uh, on the healthy side tonight, you know got it got to cut back them cows Start off with a daisy cam she's antsy. I mean we can do so all right, send her out, send her out. I don't got many treats left, so we're gonna have to. Come on, Daze. Come on, girl. Come say hi. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Go say hi, everybody. You antsy, sit. Oh, someone's a hyper girl. Let's go, come on. All right, there's a little early day camp for you guys. We'll have to whip out some of the lunch meat later for the grill. Um, so I'll bring it up now. Uh, I'll bring it up again later once we have a little more people in the house, but I am gonna be doing, um, I was discussing it with this dude from work, I am gonna be doing a um, homemade dog food episode for you guys. It's gonna be super cool. We got a lot of animal dash dog, dash dog lovers that come into the channel. Um, so I think it's necessary to uh, show you guys how to whip up a cheap, inexpensive, delicious, healthy, uh, grain-free meal for your dog. Um, so we are going to be doing that in the next couple weeks. i got to plan it out, figure out the way I'm going to do everything, but we are going to bring that your way. Um, you know, it's, it's a nice little way to have your dog eat healthy, um, and not a lot of people are knowledgeable about it. So I'm going to give you guys an inside scoop on that. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. We get our chicken butterflied out stuffed up with our cheese and ham and spinach. We're gonna get that sauteed up, marked off, get some good color on it, and we're gonna finish that off in the oven. Um, we can go ahead and get our red peppers kind of roasted up right now as well. Um, so they're ready to rock when, oops. So they're ready to rock when the, uh, when the time comes to get started on our sauce once we get the chicken in the oven. So we're just gonna take our bell pepper, guys. Going right on the flame. Right on the flame. We're gonna go medium low flame. Make sure they get plenty of of color on the roast. Let's get some. Oh, excuse me. Get some wax paper out. Keep it nice and sanitary. So how's everybody doing tonight? What are you guys having for dinner, huh? What are you 
What y'all eating tonight? Anyone cooking? I mean, you are chef dog master, so why not learn how to cook some dog food since you're a chef? All right, so we got our fatty, fatty chicken breasts. This only costs eight bucks for these huge ass chicken breasts. These are massive, guys. Absolutely massive. So I'm just gonna kind of open it up a little bit, see what I'm working with. We got some huge pieces of chicken right here. My gosh. I think this still has the the tender filet connected to it. Both of them do, actually. We're gonna go ahead and slice that off, I think. Eh. Yeah, we're gonna cut those tenders off. Alright. So we're gonna save this. Alright, leave it here for now. We'll leave it there for now. Alright, so what we're gonna do guys, we need to we need to find the uh I like to cut the round side of the chicken when I'm opening it up, when I'm exposing it, when I'm butterflying. I like this edge to work around. So I always try to find that edge. Um, we're getting some good roastage on these peppers already. I'm going to play with the heat a little bit, turn them down just a tad bit. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a nice incision, and then we're going to make sure we can get in there so we can start our stuffing process. So I made my incision with my knife. We got nice, nice down the middle. So now I'm just going to be slowly using my knife to work into the chicken breast, and now we're creating this pocket right here, right? You can kind of feel the chicken breaking when you cut into it. All right, perfect. We got some good, a nice pocket in there for the chick for the uh, stuffing. Let's get a little more on the top. You make sure you don't want to poke all the way through, right? So we got one down. Freaking chickens all sticking to the, uh, the wax paper. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Right down the center, we're gonna make our incision. And we're gonna work in with our knife. Okay, working with our knife, nice incision there, go a little bit more on the top, so we can expose that, there we go, now we got our nice little pocket there for our chicken, I'm going to wash the hand, wash the knife, gotta stay sanitary guys. Do not reuse this knife that you use to cut this without giving it a wash. You will get freaking salmonella. Don't risk it. Alright. We're all cleaned up. We're going to rotate our peppers over. Take that sticker off. Don't light that on fire. color. Front one up a little. Hey, MRM, what the heck? Death Fury coming through with a T1 sub? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Death Fury, for the sub. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you so, so damn much. Welcome, welcome. Been a minute. Uh, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing? Thank you so much. MRM, where the F you been? Where the F you been, man? I've been here. We were here all last week. Had to take a little week break um, the week before. Just had a bunch of shit going on. But it's awesome to see you back, MRM. Welcome, welcome, my man. <clears throat> grab our habardi and our ham. And we gotta grab our spinach. Ugh. Ugh. We got our spinach. Oh, you know what? This is one of her salads. Spinach. I gotta grab the box of spinach. Give me a second. Got so much stuff in our refrigerator. I cannot even work around it. All right. And our spinach. So we're gonna stuff these babies up. Freaking, freaking, semolina. Right. And then we're gonna use these. Uh, these little toothpicks, they're actually the kebab sticks that I cut up. We're gonna use these to kind of seal it up, right? So what we're gonna do, what's going on, MRM? How's your day, death? What do you guys got going on today? All right, so, 
what we're going to do here is we're going to take our ham. So Kaylee doesn't like ham, so we're not putting ham in hers. Oh, shit. I forgot to get that sliced tomato. We're going to replace it with tomato. And I failed on that. Because I only bought tomatoes for the salad. Sorry, it's got spinach and cheese. That'll be enough for... Alright, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to get like... Since this ham's a little bit on the thin side, we're going to do like three... Like three slices, right? Alright. So I'm going to rip it in half. Take my chicken. Work that in there. That. All right. I'll grab my cheese. For Kaylee, before we get the spinach, I'll rip that in half. My thirds, I guess. We're gonna get that in there for her. I'm gonna go ahead. Sanitation pinky to the rescue. Wash the hands. Get our spinach thrown in there. Sanitation pinky always coming in clutch. You know what I'm saying? So what's going on, Death? How you been, bro? MRM, what's good with you, bro? Dark, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. How's everyone doing tonight? Happy to see all you guys in here. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. We're just getting started, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Got our peppers roasting up real nice. Let's go ahead. I might do one more piece of cheese and Kaylee's because we got that ham. And then we got your spinach open. I don't like sandwich meat, yeah. Good to catch your stream again. I feel like it's been gone a few weeks. I ain't reset for two months. What's up with that? Hey, no worries, man. I just appreciate you being here. Hey, Jackie, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm glad all you guys are in here, man. I love all you guys. Thanks so much for the support, y'all. Y'all are the best. Seriously. We got, like, one of the, the coolest communities on Twitch in here. We're, we're small, but we're powerful. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's get our spinach thrown in there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some down on the board since I'm going to touch that chicken, and I want to reach back into the spinach container. Um, so let's do that. So we're going to put it down like that. That way we don't have to touch the spinach, right, with our chicken hands. So let's grab our spinyard, our spinaca. All right, now we got that thrown in there. So I'm gonna grab me, uh, me stick. We're gonna pop that through, keep it kind of stabilized once we, once we get that baby going. All right, let's grab our cheese. We're gonna throw a little bit more in Kaylee's since she ain't got that ham. All right, and let's grab our spinach. Banaka. Get that thrown in hers. I'm gonna grab our stick, casito. Pop that through. Always supporting Grace. Hey, Dre Dre! What's going on, baby? What's up, cuzzo? Welcome back, my man. What's going on, Dre Dre? How's your night going, cuz? We got everyone in the house tonight, man. Welcome back, everybody. Man. That's what's up, guys. Happy to see all y'all, man. This is great. Squad. Alright, so we got our chicken. crack a -lackin'. So Now we gotta season the chicken up, you know what I'm saying? Can't leave it like this. Alright, let me grab... I need that sun to go down through the door so I can open all this shit up again, because... I'm, I'm telling you guys, the last two streams, and we're just at the beginning of summertime. These last two streams, it got over 100 degrees in the crib. I was dying. <laughs> I was low-key dying after these last couple streams, y'all. Seriously. I was so tired from the heat. I was like, I couldn't even clean the dishes after the last couple streams. I waited till the next day. It was so hot. All right. So we got another piece of wax hip down to kind of catch all the goodies. So what you got going on today, Dre? Yeah, I feel you, Death. I feel you. I'm a Marius Rich Friends. <laughs> Jackie. 
<laughs> oh, Jackie. He would. All right, so let's grab our extra virgin. We're going to grab some garlic powder. Um, where is my chili powder? I want to do some, some dry thyme. And then obviously our salt and pepper. That's how we're getting down on these. Oh, you know what? We're going to use our spray. It's a little easier to get on these bad boys. All right, so if you got a little, a little oil spray, go ahead and give your chicken a little spray down, right? Okay. Let's get our S&P in here, right? Oh, nice coating of salt. That's one way of doing it, Jack. Uh, let's get some P, a lot of pep on there. Let's make sure it's seasoned up, right? We don't, we don't mess around with that seasoning. Y'all know how it is. All right, some garlic powder. A little garlic make the world go round. Okay. A little chili powder. It's gonna pair well with the freshness of the spinach saltiness of the cheese, ham, and then that dry time, right? That that last touch. Cousin Drew's dating show. <laughs> Just setting up couples in chat live. Cousin Drew's love line. <laughs> you guys crack me up. Absolutely crack me up. All right, so let's get our dry time on there. We got these all seasoned up. We get the other side done. I'm gonna grab a spoon, kind of press the seasonings in. I want to use my hands, I have to wash it every 10 seconds. So I'm gonna push all the seasonings down. Um, so, what I'm gonna do when I saute it is I'm gonna have to freaking basically push the stick through on one side and kind of rotate it after. Um, so, I'll be able to so I'll season this up on the other side when it flips on the pan. So, let's go ahead. We got our saute pan turned on. Medium heat. I'll show you guys our peppers that were roasted. See, we're getting a nice roast on them. It's all gonna peel off, steam off, peel it. So this pepper look, it looks like it's just about there. We're gonna give it a tad bit longer on these flames. And then we're gonna pull them off. We're gonna steam them under plastic in a bowl, kind of trap all that flavor into it. All right, so excuse me real quick while I go ahead and put these cold items back in the refrigerator, guys. We're going to get our uh, we're gonna get our salad toppings all prepped up. and We're going to basically take care of everything once we get this chicken marked off, thrown in there. But once we start marking off the chicken, we can go ahead get these thrown in a bowl and start chopping our ingredients for our salad. Super simple, super easy. My internet is taking a crap. Oh, uh, uh, I can do is type, no video or audio. I'm heading before. I frustrated. Have a great stream. Hey, Dark, no problem, man. Thanks so much for stopping by. Appreciate the support, dude. Hope you get it all cut out. It's a dual threat show, right, Dre? That's awesome. Everyone say night to Dark. Have a good night, Dark. Appreciate you stopping by, man. All right, so we're going to get some extra virgin olive oil in the... In the uh, in the pan, heat it up. Want to get some good color on these on these bacon's. All right, let's get a bowl ready for our peppers. Like I said, we're gonna put them in a bowl. We're gonna put some plastic wrap over them, and we're just gonna let them steam. Uh, uh, uh. There. So oil's heating up. Go ahead, get our cheek on. Okay, I'm going to push the stick all the way through so we can saute the bottom side that we just seasoned up. We're going to grab our other one the same way. Pull our stick all the way through, like I said. 
So I'm able to flatten it up on this side. Wash the hands off real quick. Now we gotta get a seasoning going on this side. So we're gonna do the same thing we just did. A little spray. Let's get our S and P on there. Salt, pepper. A little more pepper. All right, garlic powder. A little chili powder. And our dry thyme. Which it looks like it's time I get more of. All right. So our chicken's all crack-a-lack and seasoned up. We're just gonna let that go for a little bit. Get some good color on there. Uh, need to we're gonna kick this off to the side. I'm gonna save this chicken. Keep that. We'll get that all set up. Uh, let me get some of the seasonings off the cutting board. We're gonna get these peppers taken off. So let's take our peppers off, we're going to turn those off. We're going to grab our peps. We're going to put them in our bowl, like I said. What in the hell? Max coming through with 1500 bits, are you serious Max? Man, you're crazy dude. You're crazy. That's two weeks in a row you're dropping biddies on the kid like that. Thank you, Max. I appreciate that, man. Everyone, get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat for our boy Max dropping 1,500 biddies. Thank you so much. Can't say it enough, Max. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, you are a gentleman activating all these football emotes for everybody. Cooking for my mom. Welcome to the channel. Everybody, welcome cooking for my mom. He says, cool kitchen. Well, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Everybody go ahead and welcome Cooking for My Mom to the channel. Welcome, welcome. All right, so, chicken's over here doing its thing, right? Let's take a peek. Got a nice crust going. I'm gonna let that continue to do its thing. Add a little bit more oil. I'm going to go a little bit higher on the flame. We are going to go ahead and get a, a tray set up for roasting our chicken. So that we can pull these babies off when the time's right, get them in the oven, let them finish off in there nice and perfectly. Um, let's get our head start on our toppings for our salad. Smells really good. Love the aroma. Cooking for my mom has dropped a follow. Thank you very much for the follow, my man. Welcome to the channel, like I said. Carne Asa, my dude Dylan in the chat. Everybody, go ahead and give a huge, huge happy birthday to Brosiden in the chat. Happy 26th birthday to my one of my best friends, uh, Dylan. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you, uh, everybody. Please go ahead and, and get some Cousin Drew emotes. Get some happy birthdays up in this bitch for bro side and happy 26, my guy. We're going to grab some ingredients for our salad. So we need to get prepped up and ready. We got all sorts of goodies that we're going to be throwing in there. I'm trying to remember what the hell they are. Red onions, hair. We got to do the pear kind of last. Hey, Lil Slurp. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Welcome Lil Slurp in. Um, thanks for congratulating the boy and little slurp. Welcome, welcome. Turned up 
the heat. See where we're at. They're about to be ready to be flipped in just a, just a minute. Welcome all you newcomers. Like I said, little slurp. Welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Welcome to the channel. We're here every Tuesday and Thursday. Follow your boy on Cousin Drew 1239 on all social media platforms. High res pictures, YouTube, check me out. We got all past uh, episodes on there for you guys. And check out the website, www.cousindrewscookingshow.com. Uh, you can watch live from there. You can get a little bit of a about me for the kids. If you want to learn a, bit, a little bit more about me, um, you can reach out to me on there as well if need be. Uh, you know, hit up your boy. You know what I'm saying? All right, so those are going to be flipped in a second. Let's go ahead and get prepped up on these. I need my peeler. So with the cucumber, we're going to do a like a zebra peel, right? We're going to peel, skip, peel, skip, peel, skip. Ah, peel, skip, peel, right? A little more off that one. So now we got like a nice little zebra stripe. You're gonna look good on the salad. We're just gonna get a little bit of red onion for the salad, nothing crazy. Um, we're just gonna get a little bit of sliced red onion. We don't need too much at all. Salad for two people. We're not going too crazy with it. All right, so we got some red onion. Let's save the rest. You see that? All right, check out the chicken. Looks like we're gonna be ready to flip. Flip and dip. Let's push our skewer through. Oh yeah. Grab our other one. Push our skewer through. Perfect, baby, perfect. Right, we're looking good. Let's get a little bit more oil in the pan since we flipped it. that do its thing and then we're gonna you know get it pulled off stick it in the oven yeah so basically the chili powder on there once you get to a certain point it's gonna kind of blacken the chicken on the skin um, but just don't let it go too long because then it starts to get bitter a little bit of blackening is fine but if it goes too long it'll get a little bit bitter so just be careful when you're blackening your red seasonings like that super important so what I'm going to do for all my little cuttings, we're going to do our little, uh, our little mise en place cutting board like we did that last time. Um, so that way we can kind of keep everything organized and out the way. We got our onion. We aren't going to use both halves of this cucumber. I'm going to reserve one. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and quarter it. So now you got all your seeds exposed right here, guys. So you just take your sharp knife and you go just right below the seeds and you do a nice fillet slice and you get all those little seedy cucumber patches taken care of. Now you got a nice flat cuke. So when you give it a slice, right? Got nice little, nice little cubes right there. Look at that, with their dark green, light green. Got a nice little visual, visual balance about them for the salad. You know what I'm saying? Perfecto. So we're gonna get all our goodies for our salad thrown on this tray. Um, we are gonna be using our goat cheese. We're gonna be using dried cranberries. We'll take a handful out and we'll throw them on our board. Love dried cranberries. One of my favorite things to have in a salad. Don't forget our pear that we're going to throw on the cutting board for now, but we are going to slice it up when the time's right. So we got our cranberries thrown out there. Let's get our tomatoes halved. Let's check the chicken, guys. Always check your chicken. See how the color is coming out. Got some good color now on our, on our second side. 
Oh yeah, looking absolutely beautiful. We're gonna stick these in the oven in probably a couple minutes. Get a little bit more going on those bad boys. We're gonna get our tomatoes halved. Yeah, burnt is bitter. Whenever you whenever you see burnt, that means bitter. Blacken all right before. Mmm. My favorite. These baby heirlooms, guys, are like candy. We're gonna do an assortment of colors. A nice even even mash, right? Of colors. Okay. You got these little orange ones in there. There we go. We got three of each, right? Yeah. You can eat the seeds, it's not a big deal at all. What do you want, tomato? <laughs> Kaylee coming out for some tomatoes. You can eat the seeds, it's really not a big deal. We got a um, Bosque pear. I love these. They're solid, they got great flavor, they're not too dry, not too sweet. They pair perfectly for the salad. So let's have these and then we'll go ahead and get the uh, chicken in the oven, get started on our roasted pepper coulis. So we're just taking our tomatoes, nice sharp knife, cutting them in half. They, they look so much better when they're halved and they also um, spread out a lot more. I do like the green tomatoes, if you get the green heirlooms, those are my personal favorite. Could munch on those all freaking day long. But look at the insides of the uh, of the tomato. The design. So pretty, right? I mean, even the little baby uh, orange and red ones, right? They just look so cool when they're halved up like that. So we're gonna take our halved tomatoes. We're gonna throw them on our board. Let them chill. Our cheese is in the fridge, we're going to let that chill out. Um, so is our kale, we'll keep those cool. We're going to take this, we're going to toss it straight into the refrigerator, right? Just to keep everything nice and chilled until we need it. Everything's chilling. So we're going to get our chicken now. Take it off. We oh, got yeah, good color on both sides, nice and even. Oh, our, that's what happened. Our stick fell out of this one. I was wondering why it was so popped out. I was like, I, I'm like thinking, what the heck is going on? This one, the uh, the stick popped off. That's why we're looking like that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple more of my skewer sticks and drop a couple more in for the roasting part. Come on. Yeah, the salad's gonna be good. We still gotta make our dressing. It's super simple. We're going super simple and basic with it. Nothing crazy. All right. Okay, so let's grab Put one through here, and then this one, we'll do one more through there. Perfect. All right, so we've got the oven on about 375, guys. We're gonna pop these babies in. I'm not gonna take too, too long. Let those roast up. Let's grab our red bells. So now they've been sitting and steaming, right? So they got all this moisture. So you can literally, see what I mean by peel with your finger? Just 
rub it off, right? We're going to do that under running water, cold water. So we can cool it down a little bit and it'll clean it up nice and uh, nice and in a, an arranged fashion where it all goes into the sink, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to put some cold water on, I'm going to put my bell pepper under, and I'm going to just run my, my hands down the skin, pulling off all the charred skin, right? We don't need any of that. It's all bitter. We want to expose all the red, which is all roasty and, and tastes like it's been roasted. Um, it doesn't need the black for that flavor. It's already implemented into the, uh, the pepper. Alright. Choose your nail if it kind of gives you a little hassle. Some parts are going to be a little tougher than the end when you get towards the top. But it's no big deal. Alright, there's one. You got a paper towel. You got one. We got our second one taken care of. Alright, just about done guys. Thanks for bearing with me. Give me a sec, I know it's kind of boring, but it's necessary. It's definitely a necessary step to take when you're doing this. The flavor you get from the roast is just great. Alright. So we got these done. Hey, Bark Dog, what's going on, man? Welcome, welcome. Stream went well tonight. I'm glad you got it all cleaned up. Uh, looked delicious, dude. Seriously, looked really, really good. Seven days to my 21st birthday. That's what's up. All right, so we got our peppers. So now there's still going to be seeds inside. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to slice into it. I see all the seeds with water in there. I'm going to bring it back to the sink. I'm going to rip out the core. I'm going to wash out the seeds with some more water. They're going to fall out a thousand times easier with a little water, guys. Trust me. Alright. So we got the pit and the core all cleaned out. We're doing the same thing to this one. Just cutting to the pit. Going straight over to the sink and just washing the seeds right out, guys. All right. Perfecto. So as you guys see, they're completely seedless. We got a little bit of water in them that we're going to get out on our paper towel. As much of that liquid off as we can. Okay. Perfect. So now that we got our roasted red peppers right here, it's time to get them into the blender. Purple Magic Johnson, what's going on, my boy? Mikey, what's going on? How, welcome, welcome. Everybody, welcome in our boy, Purple Magic Johnson and Michael. It's been a minute, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by, boys. Appreciate it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to get these in the blender. Okay. We need some fresh squeezed lemon juice. Wash these off. Sure everything's all cleaned off guys keep it nice and sanitary and organized give the knife a rinse all right so we're going to take our lemon grab our strainer i'm 
My name is Drew. You know it. All right, so we're going to squeeze some fresh lemon in there, guys. Some lemon juice. All right, so we got some fresh lemon juice in there. Dump this out. We're gonna need the strainer for uh, the sauce when it's done. So we got some lemon juice in there. We're gonna add some salt and some pepper. Drew might kill me if I do. No, it's all good. So we're gonna add some salt, a handful of pepper, a couple good pinches of pepper. Let's grab our garlic powder. We need our olive oil. A lot of garlic powder in there. We're gonna add some, some extra virgin olive oil in there. We're gonna go ahead and give that a puree, guys. Bear with me while I turn this on, it's gonna be a little bit noisy. Put like the perfect amount of oil in there. Oh yeah, we got it perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, baby. Perfect, perfect. We are gonna add a little bit of a little bit of cream to this baby, real quick. Just a tad bit for some body. Then we'll taste it, see where we're at as far as flavor profile. I'm also going to add a little bit of sour cream in there, guys. It's going to freshen it up. It's going to add a nice amount of body, and it's going to add a delicious creamy flavor to it. So we're going to smooth it out with a little bit of um, um, fresh sour cream. Give me one sec while I dig this out of our jungle refrigerator. All right. Add about a tablespoon or so of our sour cream in there. Yeah, about a tablespoon, guys. Blend that up. Go ahead and give that a taste, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Smells good. Let's see what we're working with here. Yep. Perfect, guys. Absolutely, a hundred and twenty percent perfect. I'm, uh, I'm stoked. This is going to be so freaking good. Yeah, great consistency. Absolutely perfect flavor in there. I'm, uh, I'm happy. Betty, 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 happy.
Get this rinsed out a little bit. Wow. I'm telling you guys, that was half a lemon, right? We had a half a lemon in there. Um, probably two tablespoons of pepper. Uh, two teaspoons of salt. Um, I probably put about a half a cup of olive oil, tablespoon of um, sour cream, and uh, maybe two tablespoons of heavy cream in there. And then I'd say about a tablespoon of garlic powder. That is absolutely incredible. Absolutely freaking incredible. Are you posting the teach me how to study back in the high school? Those are the high school days, y'all. Good times go. Good times, good times. All right, so let's check on where we're at with our chicken, guys. I'm going to go ahead and lay out a towel so we can throw our towel down for our pan. We'll get that out so we can see how it's going. Where's my... Uh, oh, there it is. All right. We're going to get into our honey mustard right after this. Oh, yeah, our cheese is melting out of it. Shit's looking bomb diggity. Holy gosh. Look at that. Look at that cheesy surprise, huh? It's a chicken looking, though. We have our thermo. So what we're working with on our chicken temp here. Let's get in the fat end. Probably get started on our salad. Very shortly. Let's get our honey mustard made real quick. I'm gonna grab the uh, the honey and the mustard, right? Who would have thought those two ingredients were in the honey mustard? Let's grab a little Dijon too. A little bolsy. We're about 150 on the thick part. We're about 150 all around on that guy. We're gonna probably give this a little bit more time. Yeah, we're gonna give this about five minutes. About five minutes or so. God, that, <laughs> this looks bomb. I'm stoked. It's like so good. Got a fat amount of stuffing in there too. We don't frick around, huh? Yeah, that looks bomb, guys. I'm super, super stoked. Looks dank. Luckily, we got some good herbal remedies to get our appetite rolling today. At the, at the medical clinic, huh? You here? All right, so let's do some honey mustard, guys. So, believe it or not, two of the main ingredients for this dressing are honey and mustard. Frosty apples, welcome back to the stream. Everybody welcome frosty apples on back. Welcome, welcome, happy to see you in here. Hope you're having a great night. I do enjoy those posts of your children on uh, social media. They're super, super cute, super funny. All the gaming ones of them with their dad. Really funny, good stuff. All right, so let's get our honey mustard made probably gonna add some more uh, more honey to that a little heavy on the mustard there frosty apples what in the heck frosty apples coming through with a t1 sub thank you so much for the subscription I appreciate it greatly sorry I'm wiping sweat off my face um, how hot is in here we're up to 93 degrees tonight. We're not quite at 103 like last stream, so we're 10 degrees cooler, but you know, we're, we're working through it. So thank you much, Frosty Apples. Everybody get some Cousin Drew emotes hype for Frosty Apples in chat for that T1 sub. I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Welcome back to the family tree. Appreciate the support, Frosty. That's a, super generous of you. Thank you so much. All right, so we're getting our, our little honey mustard put together. It's got a nice gold tint how I like it. I'm going to drip it on my finger. Oh yeah. It's a nice mix right there. We're going to add a little bit of salt. Just a dash bit of pepper in there. All right. We got our little honey mustard dressing made right there. I love the two ingredients so much that I'm not going to mask them with a bunch of other junk. We're literally going to do a delicious raw honey mustard. We're going to let the flavor speak for themselves. 
the way that they're going to complement every ingredient on the salad is going to be absolutely perfect. So we got our dressing and that made. Our chicken's just about done, guys. Um, we're going to get our pear chopped up for our salad. And then we can get our salad made and ready, plate it up in our bowl, and then we will get the chicken, once it rests, plate it up on its plate with the sauce, and it's going to look amazing, and I'm super excited to eat this because it looks freaking delicious. It looks absolutely delicious. I got this bowl and this whisk out for the salad dressing, and I, I didn't even... I didn't even use it. I just kind of looked past it. Good job, Andrew. All right, let me get a uh, little baggie for my onion. Get our onion thrown back in. So how's everybody doing? Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. I appreciate it. All you guys returning, all you newcomers, uh, the new follows, the, uh, the subscriptions. Thank you so much, guys. I seriously appreciate it. Uh, it's nice to be back on a consistent schedule. You know, there's a little bit of a break time for some stuff going on, but it's all good. We're back in action. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. I can't say it enough. Our giveaway will be taking place on Thursday. It was supposed to be today. Um, I didn't get a chance to go grab what I needed to grab. So Thursday's the giveaway. Tomorrow, going to Home Goods, picking up what we're going to be giving away for you guys. And um, Thursday, you guys in chat, it's a subscriber giveaway. Please be here on Thursday if you are a subscriber because we are going to be giving away a great kitchen item for you guys. Promise. Um, oh, you know what? We'll use this for our salad. So let's grab our uh, mise en place board with our ingredients. We'll get our pear squared away. Um, we got our kale and our goat cheese. And I think that's going to cover just about everything for our salad. Let's get our pear sliced up. Got some crumbly goat cheese. Put a little bit on the board here for the salad. I'm not a big goat cheese guy, but with this salad and uh, salads like this, especially with uh, kale, I tend to enjoy it. So you gotta find the right things to, to eat it with, ingredients that you're not so happy with, and I'm telling you, you'll, you'll learn to like them. Wash the hand off. We're going to take that chicken out one minute. All right. Okay, we're going to slice our pear in half. I'm just going to go ahead and take that chicken out now. I think it'll be good. I'm going to let it rest and uh, I'm going to turn off the oven because it's just too damn hot. Yeah, we're good. Chicken's nice and Sunday to five. So we're going to let that rest for a little bit while we get this all put together. Opening them up the front door. Oh, much better, much better. All right, so let's get our pear sliced up. What are the, requ the contest requirements? The only contest requirements is a free giveaway. You just gotta be a subscriber. If you feel like subscribing or you are already a subscriber, then you are automatically in. There's no other requirements than just being a subscriber for this giveaway. The last one we did a, uh, a uh, dish giveaway. You had to cook a dish. This one's just a free giveaway. A thank you to all the subs. Um, and yeah, nice and simple, nice and easy. Um, so we're going to have some fanned out pear on top. Okay. So we're going to cut some fans. How am I doing this? Um, let's go ahead and do, yeah, we'll do it like this. All right, we got our little fan there. I gotta cut the little core out of that. And then piece right there. Pull that off. Okay, we got one fan. Let's get another fan going.
All right, so we got our pear fans for garnish on the top of the salad done. We're gonna take the rest of our pear. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice little slice, cube up for our salad, get it tossed in there. So we'll get that, we'll like that, that, and that. These are going into our greens, tossed up with the salad and then we will have a nice little fan on top, right? Let's go ahead and get our other other pair. Some slices. All right. Go a little bit more. I like a lot of pear in this salad. I ain't scared. I ain't scared of that. That pear baby. Mm. All right. There we go. So we got our pear. We got our onion. We got our cucumber. We got our dried cranberry. We got our tomato, baby heirloom tomato. We got our goat cheese, right? Nice little smorgasbord of ingredients right there for y'all. Chicken's looking real damn good. Resting up real nicely. Super excited to eat this. Let's go ahead and get this crack of lax, guys. So we're going to grab our kale, which... Uh, we're going to go ahead and give a little chaparooski to the kale. I like it a little bit smaller than it is. I like my salads finely chopped and, and tossed, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to go ahead and break this down a little bit more to my liking. Not into the big bushy ass pieces of lettuce. Um, not my thing. It used to be when I was younger, but not so much. Not so much now. Uh, ooh. Much better when it's chopped. That should be enough greens for us too. We got a handful here, handful there. Yeah, it should be it should be muy perfecto. You ever had grilled pear? Oh yes, I sure have had grilled pear, and I've had grilled peach too, and it's freaking amazing. Not crazy about kale, but it looks good with all these ingredients. Uh, is yeah, is kale good or not? Okay, so kale's interesting. Raw kale can be very off-turning to people. It tends to be a little bit bitter. Cooked kale, kale chips, very delicious. Sautéed kale, love it. Um, I don't like kale like this too, too much unless it's with the proper ingredients. And these ingredients tonight, one of my favorite ways to eat it, really complement the lettuce really well, I'm telling you. Got to try it with different things, different dressings, um, and that'll really help you kind of turn towards liking it. But I'm telling you, it's not it's not uh, everyone's favorite thing. Um, fluck. Flucky Fit, Fl Flucky Flit, welcome to the chat, everyone, welcome, Flucky, I'm just going to call you Flucky, welcome, welcome, thanks for stopping by, man, appreciate it, um, so we got some salt we're throwing on there, you got to season up the salad, right, some pep, let's grab our smorgasbord of ingredients, we'll grab our tomato, so I toss some of the ingredients in, and then I place more on the top uh, for the plate up, okay, so we'll toss about half and leave half for, for garnish. Don't need too much onion, that should be fine. The cucumber going right in, we'll leave some on the plate. We're gonna get that pear in there. And of course the goat cheese. Shit, freaking. Like sticks to your hand like glue. My goodness. How's your night going, Flucky? Welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it very, very much. How's your night going? All right, then let's get our delicious honey mustard that we just made. Let's go ahead and get some of that thrown on here. So we're gonna give a nice drizzle of our honey mustard on our salad before we get it tossed. 
Don't want it too, too wet. Just right. All right. One more spoonful and then we'll give it a toss. Let's see what we're working with here. My night's going great. Looks like a dope salad. Well, thank you, appreciate it. We got our chicken cordon bleu back here. We're gonna be plating up in just a second as well. All right, so we're gonna give that a nice toss. Here, I'll do it on the board for y'all. We're gonna give that a nice toss, guys. See how, let's just see how much dressing got thrown on there. So a lot of the ingredients tend to fall to the bottom. That's why we save some for the top. Um, it's just important to kind of make sure you get them tossed in there as much as possible. All right, so it looks like we could add some more dressing. 100%. We're we'll add another tablespoon or so of dressing in here. So like when I was at the country club, we were taught to like never dress our salads too, too much, right? In culinary school as well. Um, me personally, I'm a dressing guy, so I like a lot of dressing. But when you're doing salads like this or you're making it for people, it's important to not dress it too, too much. Um, and you can always give a little bit of reserve dressing on the side for them if they want more. Okay, so we got that ready. Let's go ahead and grab some bowls for the salad. So we got bowls for our salad. We're gonna plate up. Okay, so then the ingredients that fall at the bottom, you can throw them on top. If you want to place them strategically, you can go right ahead and do so. Um, I just want to make sure that both dishes have the same amount of tomato in them. Uh, make sure the onion looks like it's distributed. Anything that's left extra, just make sure you evenly spread it over both salads. So cucumber tends to stay in there. Any, any heavy item is going to kind of fall to the bottom of the mixing bowl. All right, looking good. We're just gonna tighten up the salad just a tad bit, guys. What I mean is kind of make sure it all kind of comes together in the bowl nice and tightly. Um, makes for way better presentation. You never want salad on the edge of your bowl all crazy and sloppy. Last touch to be will be, we got, you know, there's more than enough uh, toppings in there, so we don't really need to add anything else on top except our pear. So we're gonna add our our pear fan right on top for garnish. Come on, you bitch, fan out. There we go. And then we'll finish it with a little cheese as well. Cheese gets so so melty. I'm gonna pull some more out the fridge in a second. Give me a sec, guys. Gotta wash this off. Pull a little bit more out the fridge. Where did I put it? Oh, I left it out. Never mind. <laughs> I'm all confusing myself. Okay, so just give it a little bit more cheese. Kind of makes it pop, stand out, look good. All right. And then every good salad, guys, has to have a little bit of fresh pepper cracked on top. All right, solid. Doki. Now, salads are looking good, guys.
Very nice bowls. Thank you. I got them at um at Home Goods for super cheap. They're nice little Italian bowls. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, Home Goods, baby. You know what I'm saying? What does cordon bleu mean in English? Uh, blue. I don't know what cordon means. I knew in uh I knew in school. Yeah, blue ribbon. That's right. The blue ribbon school. Blue ribbon scored. What's the? I don't know if there's an actual relation. They're both French, right? One's a French cooking school. One's a French dish. That's probably the only real correlation between the two. Um, we didn't even learn to make this dish in school. You know what I'm saying? This is just a dish. All right. Huh, now for a Z plate up of Z chicken. Let's go ahead. We're gonna grab a plating spoon here. Oh, you know what I gotta do, guys? My bad. Let me get this sauce over a uh, over some heat. I meant to heat this be up. I'm gonna pour this a little bit of this over the over the flame real quick. We're gonna warm up a little bit of our coolie, all right? Give me a sec. Chicken's perfect. Pulling out my sticks. Looking freaking good. We're just gonna let this heat up real quick, guys. Give me one sec. I'm gonna put a couple of these things away in the meantime. Make a little space. Man, I feel like some chopped parsley would be nice, but I didn't buy any, so it's all good. Hey! Flip, are you serious, man? Flucky, really coming through with a sub, man? Thank you so much. That's the third new sub tonight. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that greatly. You guys are coming in hot with them subs, man. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Flucky. Everybody, welcome Flucky to the family tree. Let me see them Cousin Drew emotes hype in chat for our boy Flucky Fit. Welcome to the family tree, my guy. All right, sauce is heated up. Where are my plating spoons? I don't know where Kaylee put them. I will use a... I guess we can use a ladle. See how this works. All right. Grab our chicken cordon bleu. Our chicken cordon bleu. Make sure the bottom doesn't have much of I'm gonna grab a paper towel and I'm gonna kind of hit the bottom because there's a little bit of juice that's coming off from the pan that I don't want to like ruin the sauce. I'm gonna set that down right there. All right, we're going to grab our other piece of chicken. Same deal, getting all the drippings off the bottom with the paper towel. This is Kaylee's. It's got no ham in it. It's got extra cheese and spinach. Pops coming through with a thousand biddies. Thank you so much, Dad. I appreciate that. You guys are absolutely outrageous tonight with the support, guys. Thank you so much. So, 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 so much. Absolutely unreal. Hope you're having a good night, Dad. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, you came in just in freaking time, Pops. So we got our chicken cordon bleu, guys. The roasted red pepper coolie for y'all. Look at that cheese and that ham and that spinach right there, man. Looking good, right? And we are delicious summertime pear salad, pear kale salad with the delicious honey mustard. I mean... 
You go into a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? And they pull up with that. Y'all about to be litted. Very excited to eat this, to say the least. Um, so you want to add a little crackle of black pep to the dish. I think it's going to make the sauce look kind of cool too, having little peppercorns in it. So then after I do that, you got to make sure you follow through with the paper towel. Because the pepper is going to leave a nice dust on the plate. So you want to ring around the plate. Get that excess pepper off. Perfecto. Baby, there we go, there we go, there we go. I'm doing good, have my last final tomorrow, then summer break. Damn, you're not even on summer break yet, Dre? That's crazy. Looks great, well thank you, I appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying. Heck yes, baby, there it is, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we got our uh, delicious chicken cordon bleu with our amazing pear goat cheese honey mustard kale salad for you guys um hope you guys enjoyed tonight's stream we had an absolutely amazing night of support from you guys seriously all you newcomers welcome thank you so freaking much for stopping by guys hi it was nice seeing you around in the other cooking streams i'm a little stinky i try to pop into as many as i possibly can in my free time man i uh it's, it's an amazing community of people um supporting each other and uh, it's the least I could do, you know what I'm saying? I love meeting all you guys in those streams. So I uh, hope you guys had a great time tonight. Again, here's the dish for you guys. Um, I appreciate all the support, guys. We had Maxi starting off the stream with 1,500 biddies today. We had uh, Cooking for My Mom drop a follow. Frosty, Opple, uh, Frosty Apples dropping a prime sub. Uh, Flucky Fit dropping a sub and a follow. Pops dropping 1,000 biddies. Um absolutely tremendous guys thank you so much for your support i can't say it enough i appreciate it let's go ahead and get one last daisy cam in here for you guys uh kaylee go on ahead and send up the girl let's get daisy on cam for everybody daisy girl come here we got a little treat for you come on Can I say hi to, to pops and everybody come on sit now daisy do you like salami by any chance something you like Something you'd enjoy for our treat. You want a piece of salami? Thank you. Sit. That good, sweetie? Is that so good? Sit. You say hi to everybody. Sweetie, we're gonna finish off. Say goodbye to everybody. All right, so there's the daisy cam for the night. All dogs love salami. Well, I guess I'm a dog because I damn sure love me some salami. Let me, all my subs in chat, let me get them Cousin Drew emotes spammed up and down the goddamn chat. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Find me back here on Thursday night, guys. We're doing our subscriber giveaway. So if you guys are interested and you have a Twitch Prime available or you just want to support um, another cooking streamer on Twitch, uh, go ahead and drop a sub, and we will be here on Thursday with a subscriber free giveaway for you guys. Um, like I said at the beginning, I was going to tell all you guys again, I am going to be in the next couple weeks doing a special scratch-made, low-price, easy dog dish for you guys to serve to your pups at home. Grain-free, all delicious. Um, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a raid tonight. I'd absolutely love to raid somebody. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move these off the side. Um, we're going to lean over. We're going to go ahead and check out and see who's streaming tonight. Um, let's see if anyone's cooking. Uh, let's check it out real quick. All right, let me see who I got. We got Cooking for Noobs is cooking right now. Vegas date night chat cooking for noobs. I'm not quite sure if I'm not sure what that's about. Is that a cooking stream or because that's the only person I see on Belly IO? I'm gonna see if this is a cooking stream real quick, guys. Give me a sec. 
Us Fireflies cooking? I don't think I know who that is. Let's go ahead and check that out. Us Firefly. All right, what's the command, guys, again, to get into uh, to get into the raid again? What do I got to do? All right, yeah, we're going to go ahead and raid the uh, us Firefly. I'm going to have to give him a follow, and we're going to go ahead and raid him. Uh, what's the command again, guys? Is it just uh, commit, uh, slash raid and then their name? Is that what it is again? You got to go ahead and, and, and re-spark re my memory. It's been a minute. Us Firefly. Is it Raid? Us Fire. Is that it? Yes, sir. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your night. Um, thanks so much for stopping by, guys. We're going to go ahead and drop the raid. Um, I'll see all you guys on Thursday night for a subscriber-free giveaway. Have a great rest of your night. Happy Tuesday. Thanks so much for all the support, guys. Please go ahead and say, everybody say hi to us, Firefly. Drop them a follow. Let's drop them some support and some love and let them know that we're all here. And go ahead and check out the stream, guys. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little dazzle while we're eating. Kaylee and I will stop by and see what they're doing. Thank you so much again, guys. Uncle Sticky, it was a pleasure seeing you, man. Pops, thank you so much for the biddies. There we go. Baby, go on your thing and spam uh, cousin your emotes in their chat.